So let's talk about survey survival. Number one, listen carefully. Take notes. You want to have a notebook with you every time that that surveyor is talking. And you know, nowadays we're electronic minded, have your iPad, it doesn't matter what you do it or what you do it on, but make sure that you're taking notes. Why? Because you want to listen carefully to what that surveyor is saying. You want them, you want to be able to hear the question and you want to be able to link it to a regulation or an accreditation standard. Because truthfully, unless that surveyor is asking about, well, how's the weather today? What's going to happen? Or how many children you have? Everything they're asking is linked directly to a regulation. And that is the reason the item is asked for. Always keep in mind the surveyor is completing task and checklist. They want a yes or no answer. In fact, I crossed the border from Canada into the U.S. yesterday and the person at the border is asking me questions. Well, what were you doing in Canada? And were you on vacation? And I said, oh, well, we were just up there for a day. And he goes, were you on vacation? I said, uh, yes, we were on vacation. He, he just wanted to check his box and I didn't give him the right answer to begin with. Well, that's what your surveyor is doing. They just want to complete their task and check off their list. So keep in mind, if they're asking you for a particular item, you in your head should be thinking, well, that is linked directly to this regulation, so I know exactly what they want. But again, that takes really learning and understanding the state regulations, Medicare regulations, and your accreditation standards.